Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Peekaboo to you. Peekaboo to parrot. Peekaboo to girl. The girl with the parrot on her head. Hmm. <laughs> this little girl has a good imagination, but in the beginning of this story, she's not a happy little girl, not a happy girl at all. But things have a way of changing. She has a system. Hmm, you're about to find out why. So the title is The Girl with a Parrot on Her Head. This book was written and illustrated by Daisy Hurst. And this book was published by Candlewick Press. Are you ready, friends? I'm ready for a story. Once there was a girl with a parrot on her head. Her name was Isabel, and she had a friend named Simon. Who was very good with newts. But one day, Simon went away in a truck, and he never came back. For a while, Isabel hated everything. The parrot went to sit on the top of the wardrobe. Until Isabel felt quite quiet inside and decided to like being on her own. The girl with the parrot on her head did not need friends. She had the parrot on her head and she had a system. She sorted things out with the help of the parrot and pushed all the boxes into a corner of her room. Castles, cars, hats, Bears, monster, the dark, ducks, hula hoop, wolves, broken umbrellas, houses, etc. Sometimes at night, the parrot felt worried about the boxes, especially the box of wolves. Pa, said the girl with the parrot on her head. Don't be such a scaredy parrot. But secretly she was worried too. She thought that one of the wolves might be too big for the system. So when she found the biggest box she'd ever seen, the girl with the parrot on her head called out, Aha! This box is perfect for the wolf. However, something was already inside. Oh, said Isabel, is this your box? Sort of, said the boy. I was going to use it for a den. Why not a castle, asked Isabel. Why not an ostrich farm or a space station next to the moon? No reason, said the boy, whose name was Chester. But what did you need it for? Isabel explained about the wolf. You can't keep a wolf in a cardboard box, said Chester. They're supposed to live in forest far away. Oh, said Isabel. Well, could you help me tell the wolf to go? Isabel and Chester told the wolf about the forest, the great plains, the mountains far away where a wolf could run and stop to howl and run again all day and night. The wolf left at once. So 
said Chester. How about this box? The girl with the parrot on her head liked being on her own, but Chester had a way with umbrellas and tape, and Isabel knew where to find Martians and helmets and string. And the space station really needed two astronauts and a parrot with a teacup on its head. I'm glad Isabel found Chester, the girl with the parrot on her head. I miss you, friends. Mwah.